What's up guys, Shane Starnes here, and I've been using the Pixel 4 and 4XL as my main phone for the past couple of weeks, and I've discovered a few hidden features and settings that are gonna give you the best possible experience with your Pixel 4XL. These are my top 15 hidden features of the Pixel 4XL. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we get too deep into this video, I wanna give a big shout out to our sponsor, Raid Shadow Legend. Raid is a turn-based RPG done right, and it's one of the most popular RPGs on the Google Play Store. Raid is a hero collection turn-based game with over 400 champions for you to collect and personally customize. During the course of the game, you will assemble a team from 16 heroic factions, explore 1 plus million champion builds, discover 13 spectacular locations, and enjoy a fully voiced story campaign. The best part about this game is that it is absolutely free to play. Raid is adding more than 14 new champions every month. Progression rewards give you tons of free champions, equipment, and other cool stuff just for learning how to play. Play. Once you complete the missions, you'll get one of the best legendaries champions in the game, the Arbiter. The game is growing super fast, and the roadmap that they've published actually shows huge plans for updates in the game for over six months. So there's infinite content for you to enjoy, no time to get bored. There will be a new faction, tag team arena, and even a new clan boss for you to fight with your clan mates. You can find me in the game under Droid Modder X, and if you're quick enough, you can join my clan. Go to the video description, click on the special links, and you will get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion as part of the new player program to start your journey. Good luck and I'll see you there. One of the main selling points to the Pixel 4 is the inclusion of the 90 hertz display. Display. So with that extra refresh rate, it's going to make scrolling through pages so much smoother, so much fluid. It's going to make the phone feel like it performs much faster. The way that it's set up by default is that it switches between 60 and 90 hertz. Now this can help save battery life. One thing that people are noticing though is that if the display brightness goes below 75%, it's going to revert back to 60 hertz, even if you're on an application that should be using 90 hertz. So there's a way to force 90 hertz so that you always have that 90 hertz display. The way we're gonna do that is we're gonna jump into our settings. We're gonna go to about phone. We're gonna find the build number down here at the bottom and click on that seven times until it says that you are a developer. So from there, we're gonna go back. We're gonna go to our system, go to advanced, go to developer options. Scroll down until you see the 90 hertz refresh rate force. So here we're just gonna turn that on. And then now the screen's always going to be on 90 hertz refresh rate. So to test this, uh, we can go to refresh rate test and go to the UFO test here. And it's going to show that we are running 90 frames per second. Even if we drop our brightness down quite a bit, the display is still going to run at 90 frames per second. So with that 90 frames per second, the main thing that you're going to notice is that scrolling just doesn't lag. It's super fast, super fluid. All right, so another way that you can improve the fluidness of the phone is by changing the animation scale. And you're gonna do that in the same menu in the, in the developer options. We'll go down here until we find the window animation and the transition animation scale. We can go ahead and limit those to half and that's going to make the phone feel much smoother and much more fluid because it's not gonna to have to wait as long on those animations. You can see that things just kind of fly in and fly out super fast and you can go between screens even faster, launch that app drawer faster, go to your toggles faster, everything just moves a little smoother when you reduce those animations. So one of the new features in Android 10 is the all new dark theme. This is going to make it to where the white elements in the system UI turn to dark. And with the OLED panel, whenever you have the color black, the pixels are actually turned off. So this can save some battery life. So the way we're gonna go into this, the way we're gonna turn on the dark theme here is go into your settings, and then you're gonna to go to your display settings, toggle the dark theme on. Not only is it going to change your settings, but even if you were to bring up your keyboard, that is now in dark mode. Anywhere that Android is able to change the UI, it will go ahead and change that UI to the dark setting. So have you ever been out and about and a song is playing somewhere in the background? Maybe uh, you go by a store and a song is playing and you think, man, that's a really catchy song. I wish I knew the title and the artist so that I could download the song or play it later. Android 10 has a feature called Now Playing. And what Now Playing does is it continuously identifies the songs 
around you. So the way that we're going to get to that is we're going to go into our settings. We'll go into our sound settings and then we'll choose where it says now playing and just toggle that on. So now what's going to happen is anytime there is a song playing within earshot of your Pixel 4 or 4XL, you're gonna get a notification on your lock screen that gives you the title of the song and the artist. And then if you don't catch it on your lock screen, there's also a now playing history where you can go back and see which songs the phone was able to recognize. The Pixel 4 also has this really cool accessibility feature that subtitles all audio and a video that's playing on your phone. So if you go to YouTube and you would like to have subtitles, there's now a toggle within your volume menu that can turn on the live caption. So the way we're gonna do that is just go into our volume menu and then we will go into our settings, see more, and then we'll go to the live caption. All you have to do here is toggle this on and now captions will appear when speech is detected. So quickly I'll launch YouTube and we will just play a random video here and you can see the live caption it is taking place in real time. So it's a pretty awesome feature, especially for those that are hearing impaired. There's a really awesome feature called Flip to Shush which allows you to turn your phone over to automatically put it into do not disturb mode. This is great for when you're really trying to get things done and you don't need extra distractions. If you're like me, you get an email notification, you see that, you've got to check it and see what it is. Uh, you get some kind of application notification, like say a Twitter notification, you've got to see what that is. Being able to just kind of casually flip your phone over to disable all notifications is a great way to keep focused on the task at hand. We'll go into our settings, we'll go into system and gestures, and we'll find this option here, flip to shush and turn that on. So now whenever you flip your phone, it automatically puts it in do not disturb mode. So one thing that I've really loved about the Pixel 4 and 4XL is the all new gesture navigation. Now this comes out of the box with gesture navigation enabled and I think it's something that if you play around with it for 20 to 30 minutes, you're gonna be a pro at it. And one thing that I really love about gesture navigation is the back gesture. So I really love to be able to jump in to different parts of my app and just simply swipe back. And you can do it whether you're right or left-handed because you can swipe back from any side of the screen. The nav gestures even allows you to quickly switch between apps just by scrolling right or left on the home button. So that's a really great feature for those that like to multitask. But if you just can't get used to these gesture navigation, you can get back the three button navigation. So the way that you're gonna do that is you're gonna go back into your settings, go back into system, go back to gestures, and then go, go to system navigation. So you have both gesture navigation and three button navigation, just toggle back on the three button navigation and then you get your traditional Android three button navigation. I prefer the gesture navigation, so I'm just going to toggle that back on for now. So another really cool thing about the Pixel 4 is that it does allow for theming inside the UI. You no longer have to download a third party launcher to get theming options on your Pixel 4 and 4XL. So to enable those, we'll go into our settings. We'll go into our display. We'll go into styles and wallpapers, and you can choose one of their custom styles or you can create your own. When you customize it, you'll choose your own font. You can choose your own icons. So as you can see, there are various styles of icons and then you can even choose your own color. You can choose your app shapes. So there's all sorts of customization options here and then you can name your style. All right, so now that that is applied, you can see that Everything here has changed to that custom theme. One thing that you may not have known is that Google's actually given us the ability to turn on rich communication services. So you know like on the iPhone where you can get those read receipts, uh, when you get those little three dots that show you when the other person is typing, you can actually get that on Android phones. So if you jump over to the Google Play Store and go to the messages application here, scroll down, and there is an option here to become a beta tester. So go ahead and select that beta tester option. And then it's going to take a few hours, you know, it took a few hours 
for me to become a beta tester. Once you are a beta tester, you can go back into your messages application and you're going to see a little exclamation mark uh, right beside where the dialer normally would be. You'll click that and that gives you an option to enable RCS. My friend Jeff Springer actually put together a full and in-depth guide on how to enable RCS on the Pixel 4 and 4XL. So I'm actually going to leave a link in the description for that video. Once you finish with this video, of course, go watch that and you can get a little more in detailed version of how to turn on RCS, but it's super simple. All you have to do is become a beta tester to the app and then enable it within the messages application. One thing about RCS is you're going to have to notify all of your friends, family, and colleagues because they will also have to be beta testers and have the option enabled in order for you to utilize it between devices. So one other really awesome feature that I've never seen on Android is the fact that you can share your Wi-Fi password with a QR code. So, you know, friends come over, the first thing they ask is, what is the Wi-Fi password? For me, mine's pretty simple, so I can just tell them, but if you have a more difficult, more secure password, the way that you're going to be able to share that, you're gonna go into your settings, you're gonna go into Wi-Fi, uh, go ahead and go into your network settings, and then you'll see this option here that says share. So if you click share, it's going to need verification and it's going to give you the password, not only in QR form, but also the actual password. So you can call it out to them if they don't have a QR scanner app that they can easily scan the QR code. Screen attention is an option that allows the display to stay on as long as it notices that you are looking at the screen. So right now I have my display settings set to turn off after about 30 seconds of inactivity, but you can set it up to where if you're looking at the phone, it won't turn off like it just did. So what we'll do is we'll go into our settings, we'll go into display, we will go into advanced, and we'll go to screen attention. Now if you turn on screen attention, when it notices that you are looking at the display, it's going to keep the display turned on. This is a lifesaver when it comes to eliminating frustrations in your life. This is kind of similar to Smart Stay, which I thought was an awesome feature when it came out on Samsung devices years ago. It's now on the Pixel 4 and 4 XL. And if we jump back into our display settings and advanced settings, there are a few options here uh, for customizing the font and display size. We've got a bigger display here, but you can get even more content into this display by making your font smaller. You can see how much text is there. So this eliminates the need to scroll. Uh, or if you have poor vision, you can make the text much larger. For me, I like the ability to scroll less. So I'll go with the smaller text and then you can also choose your display size and make that also smaller to give you more screen real estate for more content. To get into your quick setting toggles, you can swipe down with two fingers to pull it all the way down to get to all of your toggles here. And then you can even edit these toggles by clicking the edit button and you can kind of rearrange the different toggles based on the ones that you use the most. I would say always make sure that your first six are the ones that you are going to use the most because those are the ones that show up when you swipe down with a single finger. So there's this really awesome feature in the audio recorder application. So we'll go ahead and go into our audio recorder application. I'll click record, and then I'll click this button here that says transcript. So now everything that I'm saying, it is going to record that with transcript. And this is really awesome for things like, you know, if you need to transcribe an entire email, you don't wanna type out the email, you just want to transcribe that email. Or if you're like me, maybe you'll get back into the blogging space because you're not gonna to have to actually write down all of your thoughts. So then you can just quickly edit your text file. You can see that it's doing this in real time. You can do this without an internet connection. This is just incredible technology. And as you can see here, it is totally accurate, which is insane. Another major selling point of the Pixel 4 XL is the fact that the Google Assistant is heavily integrated into the overall system. So, okay, Google, what's the weather like? It's gonna answer the question, but there's now a new feature that can continue the conversation. So normally you would have to say that hot word anytime you wanted Google to respond, but now there is continued conversation. So we'll go into our settings again, and then we will do a quick search, continued conversation 
which is right here. Now, if you don't see this, if you do not see this option, go into your Google accounts and delete any of your Google accounts that are not set up with Google Assistant. I had a business Google account that I had to remove from my accounts in order for this option to show up. But once you get this toggled on, okay, Google, what's the weather like? What will the weather be like tomorrow? Do you think that it will actually rain today? Are the Trailblazers playing later this afternoon? What was the score of last night's game? And as you can see, you can continue to ask questions and Google will continue to answer those questions. Of course, there are many other settings and hidden features that you can enable on the Pixel 4 and 4 XL. These were my top 15. Hopefully this helps you to have the best possible experience on your new phone. That about wraps it up for this video. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.